Today's lab is about throat swab culture. Here we bring our throat swab. It is sterile, disposable, as you see, and it has a label we, where we will write the patient number, hospital number, and a patient name, and the time of the sample collection. Time and date, of course. Now, first of all, this is our patient. Please open your mouth. We are going to take the thro throat swab in case of tonsillitis from the pharyngeal area. Say, ah, uh, please. Ah. Now we take the sample, the swab, from the pharyngeal area, the posterior part, as you see. And we bring blood agar and vacuum key, and we transfer the secretion from throat swab directly to the blood agar by rolling the cotton swab in the first portion of the plate and also the remaining of the secretion uh, is inoculated also on Maconkey Aga. Now we place the swab inside the tube and discard it and then we start flaming our loop to sterilize it. When it becomes red we take a sample from the first swab or streak which we applied on the blood agar and start making few streaks. Then we flame the loop again, rotate the plate and we take a sample from the second streak and spread it as few another streaks and the last streak is without flame. Now we take the second plate, the Makonki agar, we flame the loop and we take some few of the sample which we swap and we make streaks, then we rotate the plate, again we flame the loop and take another sample from the second streak, we make the third streak and the fourth streak without flame. Now, we label the plates by the same patient number, hospital number, and we place them upside down inside the incubator. For example, the sample number is 50 over 10, 2012. This is our serial number. Now, this is sample 30. This is sample, sorry, 50, and we place the plates inside the incubator for 24 hours at 37 degrees aerobically or we use candle jar. Now in the next session I will show you the candle jar how it works and the bacteria which is isolated in case of tonsillitis which includes mainly staphylococcus and streptococci, alpha, beta and gamma hemolytic streptococci in addition to some of the diphtheroids and the Neisseria which may be isolated also from throat swab culture. Thank you.